Welcome to Enter the Dark. Number three, Nightmares. Now, this is not a video for everyone. This is not a regular Black Ram 313 video. Most of you who are subscribed to this channel will not like such content. This is for a small select few group of people who enjoy my In the Shadows series and this series, Enter the Dark. So, giving you a second to turn away and I'll catch you on the next video. Now, for my In the Shadows and my In the Dark people, this is Enter the Dark number three nightmares. Now, let's get into the discussion. At the core of every one of us as human beings, there are emotions that are natural to us, emotions that are very powerful, especially when stimulated by circumstances. And the stimuli can affect you on every level. Fear is defined as a distressing emotion aroused by impending danger, evil, pain, etc. Whether the threat is real or imagined, the feeling or condition of being afraid of something that causes feelings of dread or apprehension something a person is afraid of anticipation of the possibility that something unpleasant will occur these are all definitions of the term fear something that is native of us. My question to you, what are your fears? Are you afraid of the darkness? Are you afraid of the dark? Not just the turning off of lights in the absence of light, but have you ever experienced being suddenly awakened by a nightmare. Can you, do you sit in the dark afterwards or do you turn on the lights? Can you handle such fears that comes to you in the form of dreams? Does the darkness cause you discomfort after such a nightmare? Does it bother you? I actually enjoy some of my nightmares are you ever alone and it seems like someone something is always there have you ever felt like someone or something was standing by you in the dark when you are alone when no one else is there to your knowledge a presence in the dark at night laying by your bed standing by your bed no one is there but you but however you hear footsteps in another room why do you hear someone moving around your house and in another room when no one else is there maybe it's your imagination. Maybe it's the building foundation settling. Maybe it's that thing. It. That mysterious presence that's always there has always been there. But what is it? In deep down inside you know what it is don't you 
I've always heard these footsteps. Have you always felt this presence yourself? Have you? Maybe the footsteps are getting closer. Maybe it's fear of the darkness itself approaching. Maybe it's something more. Maybe it's something, someone, something that we will all meet one day soon. Why? Does the hair stand up on your neck sometimes when no one is there? Why do you feel someone standing behind you when no one is there? Is this real? Why do you have that same feeling that you have when someone is literally behind you but no one is actually there? At the moment that you feel it, what is this? Is it your senses malfunctioning? What is that over your shoulder? What is that behind you? You see nothing, but you feel something, something that's always watching you, watching your most private moments. And it's been there since your birth almost like you're being recorded almost like you're being recorded and watched by an entity who or what is this mysterious entity this entity this being this thing this presence is one that everyone senses but no one but i mean no one and no one i mean no one wants to talk about it or mention it. Have you ever had a discussion about the darkness that you have always felt? But yes, we are discussing this here in the mind of Black Realm 313, a mind that is dark. Now you forget about this presence once the lights are on, once the sun is out, you feel good and you no longer even think about, and in many cases, you don't even remember that dark presence that you felt last night. You don't mention it to anyone. You don't think about it again until it happens again. But when only the moon lights the sky, when darkness falls, the lights are out and everyone's asleep, what is it that you hear? Who and what is it? Nightmares. We all have them. The fear. Fears that you try to ignore, but these fears creep up on you and enters your dream and in these dreams the mysterious presence is there as well he's with you whenever there's darkness there is no escape there is no rest no reprieve from this mysterious presence it is there now as you are listening to me preferably in the dark. Is it waiting, this presence, to punish you for your wrongs? Better yet, is it patiently waiting for your death? Will it reveal itself then? Maybe it is the shadow of death itself. Is it your time? It wasn't last year when you felt it. But why is this presence there? What is it waiting for? What does it want? Why do you sense danger when there is no danger? Does it feed off your biggest fear? 
the fear of the unknown, the fear of death. Is it your fear manifesting itself? With it comes a cold darkness, especially when there's fear. What? Who is that standing over your bed while you are sleeping? Why are you always looking for it? Every time you look over your shoulder, it's not there, but you feel it. In fact, you feel haunted. The horror. Why is it staring at you constantly sending chills up your spine after a nightmare do you ever get up and walk around the house and if you have it feels as if this present is following you and sometimes now sometimes even during the day when no one is around you sense this presence in fact there has never been a time when this presence has been absent from your life is it fear fear personified you want to tell yourself that it's all in your mind but again deep down inside you know in your dreams you sometimes encounter a presence a lifeless bodies that may be animated but it's just a nightmare but yet the presence is always there all alone in the dark the mind begins to sink in the liquid of fear you want to believe that nightmares are only a dream and although you feel the presence just as much when you're not sleeping. Wait, did you hear that? What was that? Wait, shh, listen. Something is lurking near you. I know you feel that. I have an important question for you. Would you want that presence to reveal itself to you, show you its form? Could you handle its appearance? What would it look like? What would it be like? Would it be a ghost? Would it be a man's body, a woman's body? Could it be a man's body, but with a goat's head? The horror of what this idea brings what it can be, what it is, what it might be. But what did I do to deserve such a shadow always following me? It's been there since I was a kid. As far back as I can remember, I think I may have seen or at least heard his voice, but maybe it was just in my head. It's the reason Possibly why lights sometimes flicker. It seems to want you. It seems to want you in the darkness with it. But what in the world? What on earth does it want from you? Why won't it just go away? Uh, don't turn off the light. But do turn off the light. If you're curious, the next time you have a nightmare, the next time you're frightened out of your sleep, would you be brave enough just to sit in the dark? And if you did, would it reveal itself to you? This is what goes on in the mind, or is it more than just the mind? Maybe you should accept it. Maybe you should embrace it. But the mind oftentimes will not let you. As a child, my aunt died. 
In the dining room of the house that I was living in as a child, shortly after her death, I remember hearing her calling me while I was in my bedroom. She died while I was in the other room. But after her death, after her body lifeless left the house a couple of days later, I heard her voice as clear as day calling me in the next room. I was about nine years old, but I remember it like it was yesterday. Has such a thing ever occurred to you? A mysterious voice, your name being heard and said when no one is there. Who and what is that? What is that thing that haunts you to this day? Could it be the knowing, the reality that you are going to die someday? My conclusion is, is that that voice, that presence, that entity is death personified. We all have a stalker with us and his name is death. This is Into the Dark, number three, Nightmares. Enter the Dark, Black Ram 313, and I'm out.